What's going on guys? It's Darkness here. I wanted to make a quick video. There is a problem I ran into trying to use Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2015. What I'm gonna do is show you what the problem is. I can't I couldn't get the black bars around my video to go away. They were everywhere. My quality was complete crap. Couldn't get it to work, so I finally figured it out. So I'm going to make a little video to try to help some of you guys. And you don't have to run into the same problems that I do. So what you're going to do when you open Premiere, you're going to start a new project. Well, I've done this a few times, so I'm just going to reopen another one. But I'll still show you. Before you even put anything in it, before you even import a single clip, you go to File, New, sequence now you have all these settings here any presets you can pick any one you want there's widescreen down here I mean in a, some cameras I mean whatever you have just whatever will work you can customize your frames per second anything either way you have to pick one to get it to work right and it'll add your sequence down here now let's add something real quick I'll just pick a random file put it in here I have it selected now usually I wouldn't have this full screen deal the video would be about this big and all around it would be black just black square and the video would be complete crap, useless material you can't use, and you spend hours editing and then export it and it looks like complete crap. So when I go to File Export Media, see right here there would be black bars still, no matter what. No matter what settings I mess with in here. But once you do that sequence and you get the right one, it'll look good. Then you have to have it on H.264 and I guess match source high bit rate. That's just what I've found to work and use maximum render quality that's pretty much all I do for for exporting it but there is another way that way if your settings for what you have still have a tiny little black bar maybe yours won't get rid of it all the way you can go up here as long as you have the video selected double click the video is selected go to effect controls you can click down on this little arrow unclick uniform scale and these two numbers height and width you can change them yourself. A little change over here. So I'll put 50 just to show you guys. This is exactly what mine looked like before. Complete crap. Wasted hours. Ticked myself off. So I spent endless hours trying to figure it out in video after video. So I'm going to show you. Now after you do that, you can also actually come up here and go to motion and it'll add these squares around the video and you can put it about 25% actually I'll put it about 50 to show you you can grab them say your video was like this or it ended like this and you still couldn't get the black bars well you can now grab it and pull it out a little farther and then you should be good to go and export and all that good stuff and that's basically it guys that's, all, that's really all I need to show you if you guys know anything else just Comment it in the section below and let me know because I'm fairly new at this and I need any tip I can get. So please comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.